And this was essentially how that data was produced. You got some original data, some, some original source data, which if you, you had access to that, you could see where that came from. You could see how it was collected. It had local identifiers, maybe not great ones, but it had local identifiers. And there was a clear understanding, a clear model of what this, uh, of what this data represented. And then it was processed or combined with another data set. And, and what you got as a, as a result from the vendor was that the provenance had been stripped off. The model was no longer quite clear what it represented. And no longer the way they'd put on proprietary identifiers. Except that's the simplified version. This is the reality. You've got data that's coming in, that's being combined with the other data. That data is then, bought, you know, is then sold to someone else who combines it with other data, who sells it to someone else who combines it with other data. In the field that I'm in, in, uh, in, in uh, company information, you often hear of stories of people buying back their own data. They'd sold it to someone who'd sold it to someone who'd sold it to someone else, and then it, they combine it with something else, and naturally they, they end up buying it back. But the world's no longer like that. Um, we've come a long way since, in, since, since then. We entirely live in a data world today, I think. Um, even, even before the rise of mobile and, and all the, the changes that that's brought along, you know, it was about data. It was about data sets, what they represented, the power came from how you could be combined together, how they could be interrogated, what we could understand about them. And, and actually, this whole conference and this whole, you know, the whole Strata series is, is just exactly that recognition of the data world that we live in. But now, even for people who aren't in the business, their lives are data, their lives revolve around data. Uh, obviously, mobile, um, smart devices, um, you know, the uh, rise of maybe fall of DLT, um, uh, things like um, uh, AI, uh, uh, whether it's driving, um, whether it's uh, self-driving cars or other things. This is the world we live in today. And in that world, black box data just doesn't work. You know, by having no provenance, it means you don't have the context. I mean, I, I think, you know, uh, uh, most of us in this room understand really the power and the importance of metadata. We don't have metadata. We don't have, we, we don't have provenance. We just don't know anything that we, uh, about that data. We can guess, we can infer, but actually, that's all we're doing. When you have proprietary IDs, you don't have the ability to connect it with other data sets. I mean, what is a proprietary ID? A, a, a proprietary ID is more or less, in most cases, just a foreign key into that proprietary vendor, that, that vendor's uh, proprietary database. And of course, you, uh, as a result of that, when you're using those proprietary IDs, you get lock-in, you get vendor lock-in. That opaque model, as I said, is, gives you limited utility. Um, it might work just in this limited use case, but actually, can you use this data in other places? Um, and of course, the other sorry, defining feature of black box data is, is that it's, it's, it's closed down. It provides, there's very limited access to it. Very few people look at this data, and they look at it generally in one specific context, and so you get very poor feedback loops. People aren't taking this data en masse and combining it with other data. People, you don't have hundreds of thousands of people looking at this data all the time. So that's why we need white box data. White box data, it is fit for purpose in the modern world. It does have provenance and therefore context. It has, uses open IDs, allows you to make connections um, across uh, uh, between different data sets, and it doesn't have vendor lock-in. There are transparent models. You can clearly, uh, clearly define what, what, what the data represents, and that gives it widespread utility. And it's public access, which provides incredibly good feedback loops. 